all right everybody welcome to the stream whether you're watching live or the recording uh we're gonna play some dinkum today and i do appreciate it thank you for spending a part of your day to be here all right let's play some dinkum uh we just got franklin's lab recently so we're gonna go check that out and uh see what's up with it All right, so it looks like we can expand our teleportation teleportation abilities uh at least to some extent here <clears throat> i don't know if it's going to be like one way or a two-way thing Okay, yeah, that's right. We still have debt. Realism increased. All right. Cool. Okay, well, we will worry about that some other time. Let's take care of the animals and go from there. Yeah, just leave the, you know, leave the fence open. There you go. So as you see here, this is a silo for the uninitiated. Um, essentially, you fill this up with feed and it fills your hoppers day in, day out for each adjacent square here, the tiles. So like right around there, I think offhand, it's probably something like approximately 16. But anyways, we've got five animals, so we've got five feeders. And I don't have to worry about feeding them. You still have to pet them. Um, and I think that's it. One second. Yeah, and provide them, you know, ample shelter. So, you know, the basic necessities. These pleeps, which are very obviously a sheep and a platypus, uh, they need to be sheared. Which we don't have on us. All right, cool. Let's go get these shears and shear these sheep or leaps, per se. All right, now we've got Franklin to move in. The next step would be to probably try and get Melvin to move in. So I believe you do this by talking to them, doing favors for them, and purchasing things from their store. All right, cool. All 
All right, so I've got two of these stylish drawers. So that's going to be uh, a good fit for trading into Melvin here. So he says he always visits the donation box. I sure hope so. Um, I've yet to see an NPC actually donate. Not saying they haven't, I just haven't noticed. So that's definitely new to me. I'm going to buy some stuff from his store and at least see if we can't unlock the deed. Of course, we still have to get the debt paid off from Franklin's lab. And we're probably going to do some fishing to do that. All right, so we're going to have to get Franklin's deed next time he comes. Usually, I believe when they're ready, they'll just approach you or when you initiate chat, they'll say something along the lines of, hey, I'm ready to move in. And as you see through that dialogue, we just haven't raised the, I guess I'm going to call it relations meter, you know, that heart meter above their name. We haven't raised that enough yet or we just haven't hit the dinkums that we're supposed to spend, done enough favors, chatted enough, so on and so forth, whatever that uh, that standard is. Um, but definitely next time, I'm, I'm fairly confident we'll get, we'll get Melvin pretty soon. Okay, break a tool, catch three fish, make 2K dink. I think we could kind of do these simultaneously and then I, that is the first I have yet to see break a tool. So, um, yeah, it shouldn't be too hard to do. I'm sure I've got something laying around that's ready to, uh, break. Like, you know, this, this copper axe. I'm sure I've got another tool that's ready to go, ready to break here. Pretty much, pretty much everything except for the pick. Okay. Let's go fishing. After we make some space in the inventory, of course. Always keep them fried eggs for a stamina boost. It's easy to run out of stamina during the day on Dinkum. Fried eggs are good. Not too hard. Not too hard to make. You just cook an egg, literally. It's that simple. Alright, I think... Uh, yeah, I think we're good to go fish. Yeah, nothing I'm going to spend any time on as far as the requests are concerned there on the bulletin board. Actually, you know what? We're going to do some deep sea fishing. I'm going to go back and get the rowboat and maybe just maybe we'll catch a marlin i have yet to see one out in the open water i saw the one and only that i've seen and caught was right on the shoreline of a kind of a i wouldn't say remote island but a more distant island it wasn't this one 
So not like the main islands per se. So let's uh let's get unbeach here, head out. Maybe we'll get a marlin, but we're surely gonna get some catches for sure. We gotta get three, sell those, and we'll knock out uh two daily milestones in one go, you could say. Um A lot of fish right here. And then, yeah, break a tool. Looking like we're going to do the scythe down here or the bug net. Once we knock our dailies out, honestly, we'll just go from there. I'm probably going to focus on trying to get the town debt paid off and then just working on whoever's visiting the island next, trying to get their deed, get them to move in, so on and so forth. Um... And then we'll see what happens in between. All right, let's get some fish. Alright, that's one, a Luteric. I don't think those sell for a whole lot. There's a license on here called the Commerce License, and it just gives you an extra percentage on top of your normal, you know, the base selling price for anything that you sell. I don't think I've sold a Luteric since then, so maybe we'll make a couple more thousand dinks. Um... Yeah, we'll see. I'm interested to see how much a Marlin's going to sell for. Um, when you see one in game, you really can't miss it. It's a pretty huge fish. Uh, the only one that I did catch, uh, I, I donated to the museum. I try and do that for pretty much everything, so that way... If I catch something again, it's a done deal. I can just go ahead and sell it. That's three. We're gonna keep catching though. We got we got bills to pay. We got debts to uh, get rid of. So yeah, we gotta keep fishing. Thank you. 
All right, let's change up our spot here. See if we can get a bit further out. See if we can't catch anything different. So just in case you were wondering, this is actually Fishing Simulator 2022. Um, and uh, yeah, as of right now, that's that's the money maker. If you haven't fallen asleep from all this fishing. I'm thinking after we get a couple more residents, I'm probably going to try and uh, sort of build up the town more. Um, maybe put some walls up, maybe put like a perimeter around the, you know, the main town area. Do some landscaping, something like that. Um, outside of that, I think the next big or main goal is to just get a vehicle like uh, yeah we've got the rowboat yeah we've got a wheelbarrow which by the way is technically a vehicle so if you have like a daily milestone and you're rocking the wheelbarrow excuse me if you have like a daily milestone for travel x amount of meters or feet or what have you um if you get a wheelbarrow and you just push that bad boy yeah that counts as a vehicle so I don't know in what world that's a, a vehicle. I guess maybe by some technicality in the Australian Outback. Um, really awesome game, by the way. This is your first time uh, tuning into Dinkum, or you haven't watched a lot. I'd say it's a great game. I'd say it's certainly worth the money. Um, I think I got it for something near somewhere around the ballpark of 20 uh us dollars so yeah it's it's a great game i think so i think it's worth the 20 bucks and i just realized john's store closes at 6 p.m and okay okay never mind i've already gotten the sales so we're good okay All right, so disregard that. All we need to do now is just make money and break a tool. So yeah, you can still drive and steer while the map is open, 
which is pretty solid for navigating your way back to base uh, especially when you're far out here uh, deep sea fishing albeit the fish seem to be no different than the fish near like the shore lot uh, I first heard the term deep sea fishing in Dinkum when I was talking to the NPC Irwin and he made some kind of mention of pretty much the high dollar fish are going to be found uh, in the deep sea so and I want to say he mentioned something about you know you have to take a rowboat out there or so on and so forth obviously you would need to take a rowboat um, but I've yet to see a difference um, maybe there is one um, maybe the value maybe they're slightly more valuable the deep sea fish quote unquote I've yet to see any notable difference all right so right now I'm gonna just try and break this scythe for the daily and then we're gonna call it a day a dinkum day that is I'll be streaming at least one more Dinkum Day after this one. That's it. It's a wrap. All right, got eight fish. Not a bad day. Um, let's see what Franklin is up to. See if his lab is still open. All right, he doesn't work weekends. Eight to four. All right, he's he's working them bankers' hours. Gotta respect it. I think we would all uh, like to have the weekends off. Eight to four p.m. Yeah, pretty pretty solid schedule. All right, that's it. Let's uh, let's call it a dingum day here. going on John So far, it seems like you only get visitors about every other day. I feel like I've seen it span further than every other day. Like it's been two days, maybe three days um, between visitors. But on your visiting plot, usually they come every other day. So you've got to prioritize talking to them, doing favors for them, and purchasing items from their store to get the deed so that they move in and voila, you have more... Uh, residence per se at least on a permanent basis all right let's take care of the animals um it seems like my fellow islanders are going to be watering the corn stalks um the three that i have i know if you have a whole lot they're probably not going to knock out the whole thing i'm not entirely sure if that has anything to do with the relation meter you know the hearts above their name but I have a feeling it does. So the better relationship you have with them, the more they're gonna water. But anyways, yeah, let's let's pet all these animals. They've got their feed from the silo here. 
And uh, yeah, we'll knock out our dailies. It's always good to rack up permit points as they're hard enough to come by already. But then again, uh, the game has been pretty generous with pet, uh, excuse me, permit points. For reference, those are these like blue dollar bills right here. And it's pretty much what unlocks progression in the game. You know, your various licenses, which then unlock more licenses. And it looks like the pleeps are ready to be sheared again, even though it's only been, I think, a day. I'm pretty sure I just sheared them yesterday in game. Uh, okay, we'll see. Okay, undiscovered fish in the northern oceans. Fishing early mornings. Fishing tip for winter. So I guess that's the entire season. There's something out there that's uncommon in the early mornings. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll uh, maybe check on that some other time. Okay, yeah, I got to get shears and take care of these pleeps. And it'd probably be helpful if I cleared out the inventory. Um, I tend to carry every freaking tool known to dink them with me. Not quite, but just about. I don't know. That might be. Yeah, that's that's a good percentage of the available tools. As far as I know, um, obviously, there's some advanced tech that Franklin can get you hooked up with. And this is all going to go to debt. There are some tools that Franklin can get you hooked up with um, that I've yet to see. But yeah, I, you know, as you can see, I, I be carrying uh, just about everything. All right. So uh, let's knock some of this dead out. Good gravy. We've got a ways to go here. We got a ways to go here, fellers. Um... It's not too bad though, 100, 100k dinks. Not anything too crazy. As you can see, Franklin's got the goods. He's got the fixins. He's got pretty much, pretty much all the uh, what looks to be late game uh, accessories here. Freaking tractor. You saw it here first. Tractor and Dinkum. Makes sense. Makes sense. You're doing some uh, large scale farming. All right, cool. Smash four ore rocks. Clear two tree stumps. Collect seven shells. All right. Let me double check, make sure all the animals. Okay, so they've got food. So I guess they've just chosen to not eat. Everyone has been petted. Everybody's got shelter, but for some reason, one of the plebes has not ate. So see, there you, there you see there's, there's food. Um, okay. I guess they'll get around to it.
So if you hold the right mouse button, it will automatically pick everything up there. Um, I believe that's for all things, but it's definitely for like items, at least so far in my experience, rather than having to continuously click the right mouse button. As long as it's like a loose object, so not something like harvestable, like, well, that worked. Um, but when I go over here to the belly button and I'm still holding it down, no luck. So yeah, quick uh, pro tip there. Quote unquote, pro per se. Some say, you know, I'm a dinkum pro. Some being, you know, me. All right. You gotta stay, you gotta stay task oriented. We're getting these uh, dailies. Got her done. Let's move on to looks like picking up shells. Hang on, I, I think this croc really needs to uh, get a lesson in uh, Australian manners. So we finna, we finna to oblige. Fin to oblige this croc. So yeah, that's a crab trap. Um, and it's just been chilling. It says come back in a day, I think, when you when you get it. When you buy one, I think the tool tip there, it's like, hey, come back in a day. Uh, and you should have a crab in there. But uh, that has not been the case. I think you maybe have to bait it or it's not in the correct depth of water. Pro tip number two, going at the, going at the uh, viewers. Right mouse button to pick a lot of stuff up. Get your crab traps figured out. There you go. Your two pro tips of the stream. Maybe more coming. Might have some more tips coming. We'll we'll see.
the kind of a spontaneous uh, thing. Okay. Um. So enough of the pro tip stuff. Cooked cactus fig. That's feasible. Not quite as feasible. Both possible. It's more like uh, not finna put that much time into it. Uh, collect twenty cooked cactus fig. Okay, we could do that. Let's knock that out. That's easy work. Of course, I say that now. What is it? Twenty. Okay, yeah, twenty. I'm gonna grab these ores while we're out. It seems like now that I'm not really needing copper, at least not on an immediate basis, that there's just, you know, a reasonable amount of copper everywhere. But the moment that you need a particular ore, specifically copper, because I've got just a uh, inane amount of tin. I've got all the tin I'm gonna need for the foreseeable future. A decent amount of iron, but man, oh man, it seemed like there was no copper on this island for a while there. I do know that resources do regenerate. Um, not sure what the the time frame is, though. I, I would imagine it's very gradual and probably some on a day-to-day -day basis. These are, I want to say, hardwood trees. They just have a different uh, skin to them. Hang on, let's see. No, bottle trees. Okay, cool. Awesome. So we got to make some space here. Those sand dollars, yeah, they're, they're not worth hanging on to, at least not as of right now in the early, early access version of this game. Pygmy fly. Okay, I'm like 99% sure that's a new discovery. So that's going to be a museum turn in for, for sure. That's pretty sick. And as you can see, look at my character. You can actually see the character's breath. I'm guessing that correlates with, oh, hey, it's winter. Um, but it still looks like it's warm out. I don't know. There's no snow. There's no thermometer. Um... Maybe this is like a winter exclusive bug or specific seasons. I do know they have that feature in there for some animals, fish, insects. They're seasonal. Very reminiscent of, you know, Animal Crossing, but, you know, I don't know. Sarcasm intended. All right, let's get some more uh, cactus figs. Yeah, we've got 12 to go. Or more.
You had that boss fight music going on for a minute there. So I think you can like capture and tame the dogs on the island. Primarily because I think this because if you go to animals, look at there, there is a dog logo. So yeah, I have yet to get into trapping and capturing animals yet on here. Um, I've built a trap once. But I feel like you need to leave some bait in it and there's a process. We'll get it figured out. We'll get there. Uh, I've yet to really get into trapping yet though. So, the bottle tree wood turns into hardwood, just like the other tree. Um, I wonder why they have different names. That's pretty cool. I mean, obviously they're different trees, but you think they would they would title the plank something else? Still an awesome game, of course. All right, um, we're cooking. We're cooking uh, cactus figs. Can't say I've ever uh, cooked up some cactus figs IRL before. But you never know. Must be an Australian Outback thing. Or just a Dinkum thing. Oh yeah, of course. We've got freaking our five dollar shells everywhere. This is why you keep those fried eggs. They come in clutch. So yeah, the hardwood logs and the bottle tree wood both turn into hardwood planks. So ultimately, kind of serve the same purpose. Different trees, I suppose, but same, same building mats, building materials. Yeah, let's just pick the shell up over and over. Not. You know, just char grilling some uh, cactus figs. That's what I did on Dinkum today. No, I'm just I'm just saying that. Yes, I have the shipment ready. I'm trying to get these bands, y'all. We got debts to pay. Got folks to move in. Uh -huh. 
see how I put in the amount of the debt there. It just automatically goes to the maximum of the dinks you have. Um, it's also wishful thinking, you know, that you're just ca cashing that check, or writing that check per se, and getting rid of that daggum dinkum debt. Okay, what to do, what to do. We've got our dailies. We've made some progress on the debt. Um, looks like the island is kind of, well, the settlement per se is coming into fruition here. Um, hmm. I think we're going to call it a dinkum day, guys. Failers. Failers, I'm going to, um, sleep. And then, yeah, let's see what tomorrow holds. So Melvin's back two times in a row. Um, I think I've only met like one other there was like a barber shop in PC I forget their name but anyway, let's let's see if we can get Melvin to uh, commit to the move here well you know I'd buy it except I just donated every single dinkum I had so yeah let's Let's go uh, get some dinkums and buy that shirt from Melvin. After we take care of the animals, of course. We had some corn come in this morning. That's pretty cool. And they continue to make corn. So I had some, I believe it was wheat, and they were like a one and done. So they grow, you harvest them, and then that's a wrap. What's good, everybody? Um, I guess they're all going to check out the farm. Not uh, not too much to do for the NPCs uh, in their off time, so can't say I blame them. What? We got a gym here. Nice. Can't say uh, hanging out at the farm is uh, 
is a bad thing anyway. Even if there was a lot to do on this island, I would probably still go and hang out at the farm. Pretty, uh, pretty sick farm, if I do say so myself. We need to get, like, 50 more animals, though. Really, uh, start making some, some dinks off the eggs and wool. <laughs> Yeah, I've got some uh, some kangaroo uh, poo here. Wonder if you're gonna buy that, John. Seems like you'll just buy anything these days. So Opal should net me some ash. Yeah, that was probably like ninety nine percent Opal. A wizard robe. What? Yeah, we definitely uh trying to get that wizard robe. What? Mm. All it's missing is like a 99 magic cape from OSRS. And yeah, that that's a whole ice barrage right there. For the uninitiated, that's like a high level uh magic spell on old school runescape. That's that's pretty fresh if you ask me, but we all know Khaki is the cleanest both uh in and outside of dinkum so yeah we're gonna keep rocking khaki all day every day in the dinkum realm here all right He only wants 60 dinkums for that whole bed. But then he wants almost two grand for the daggum books. That is what you call certified wild. Like a whole ace bed. 60 dinks. Hey, you know what? Can't knock it though. Look at that. Your boy getting off the floor in his dinkum house. All right, let's go. Hang on. That is certified fire right there. Look at their... What is that? A, a king? Wowza. Eastern bed. It's got, got some eastern vibes. That's... Man, that's dope. All right, yeah. Floor no more. I mean, uh, you know what? It, you know, we were never on the floor per se. We had our sleeping bags and our trusty, dusty sleeping bags. But now we're we're moving up, you know, both in bed level and sleeping elevation. Let's get it. We got a bed now, y'all. I'd say that's that's the milestone achieved for the stream right there. 
Hashtag bed status. All right, I think we've bought everything for Melvin that we can. The catalog looks like just any furniture that I've owned before. And then I want to say he asked me to do something initially. I think it was like buy something from him. And then by the time I come back, it's just like, nope. But that's okay. We got the wizard rib. We've got a bed. I'd say we've achieved everything we need to achieve on the stream, uh, at least for this episode. All right. Let's look at the dailies. Sell four fish, buy a new tool, water six cries. Okay, so the water is not going to happen. Or, you know what? I could go buy some crops, actually. <clears throat> I forget she is here full time now. All right, we've got... Just at, I think, I want to say it caps out at 30 days a season, I think, or maybe it's 28. Um, if that's the case, we're at 21, they grow over seven days. So, does that do they sprout or do they, uh, you know, do they? Let's see. Basically, would we be reaping what we sowed on the 28th, or would we just be SOL? I think we would be SOL. This is, is planting day, day one, or the following day? I think it's the following day. I'm not going to risk it, seeing how we've only really got approximately seven days left already. Just cutting it close. Autumn and winter, 11 days. Continue to produce corn. And we've got autumn coming up. Or it was just autumn. Excuse me. We've got spring coming up. So this is another no-go. And I have yet to do a spring uh, on uh, Thinkum. This is year one. This is all year sugarcane. Okay, I bought one for some reason. That should be 11 plots that I just made. And I am holding down the left mouse button. And kind of auto planting, you could say. It's a quick uh, quality of life feature there um yeah let's water them all right dope got the bag there um watering just you know the dirt getting it done let's go buy a new tool Woo. 500 G's spent at Johnny's. Actually, not necessarily John's, just in general. 
But I'd be willing to wager. Not really. But I would make an educated guess that the overwhelming majority of the things I've spent have been at John's. And made, for that matter. All right, sell four fish. We're getting there. Let's make some room for the fish. Go catch them. And then we'll be 100 for the daily milestones. Close enough. So I see I've got over 4k um, permit points now. I may save them up and try and go straight for the uh, the vehicle license pertaining to like aerial vehicles. Even though I don't have a land vehicle yet. I don't even have a land vehicle yet. Unless you count the friggin' wheelbarrow. Or a rowboat. But I, th I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. If it's feasible and possible, I might go straight for the helicopter. Helicopter there. Um, I know I've seen one on another stream, actually. Kind of a gyrocopter looking device. Uh, I believe it's what you would call an open shell. Not really an aviation guy, though. Um, but I digress. We're going to catch these fish. And get these permit points. And then maybe hopefully soon get a, uh, you know, a shark on the line. No, uh, a helicopter. That would be pretty, uh, pretty rad. Pretty sick addition, I think, would make for some great content, great views, great thumbnails, you know, A through Z, the whole nine. So you can't actually catch sharks, unfortunately. They'd probably go for a nice, uh, uh, at least several thousand dinks. But it just dazes them. You do get some permit points for your first one, and I think if you get 10, you get another uh, another uh, milestone, I believe it's called. So as you can see, um, don't have my weapons ready, and also it just kind of phased them. And he was just chilling. And I'm going to knock him back in the water here. But. Might be able to get the. The uh, shark meat here. Possibly. He's kind of hauling tail. So that chirping sound you hear. That is the low health indicator. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he, he took off. He's out of here. Okay. Back to fishing. No pun intended. But yeah, he's uh he's definitely hauling tail. He is gone. Alright, four fish, and we're done.
So I'm not sure what that fish has got going on. Uh, pretty sure y'all saw that. He was just kind of doing his own thing. Let's see if we can't catch him. we've got the four fish uh, let's get back to the mainland here because John closes at six Alright, just a minute everybody, I will be right back. All right, we're back. So glad they added the pause feature to Dinkum. Uh, if I remember correctly, at release, that was not there. I would imagine on multiplayer, that may not be an option, because I know if you hit escape, you go to options, there it is. For single player, there's the pause button. I know on multiplayer, right there in that spot, at least last time I played multiplayer, that showed you uh, who was in the current session. Got him. All right, let's, uh, let's turn this dough in. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Whether you're watching the live stream or the recording, thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. I really do appreciate it. And as always, I hope you have a good morning, good evening, afternoon, night, wherever you are in the world watching. And as always, take care. And to God be all the glory. Have a good one.